Good morning everybody, we're uh, back out again in search of some big bream and some big tench. So we've come to uh, one of my local lakes where we've got some really nice bream to £13 and we've got some nice tench to double figures. Uh, you never know, we might even hook one of the carp that's in here, they're very hard to, to get. I've been fishing here four years and not hooked a carp. Right, so this PVA bag is going to go at range. There we go, that's lovely. I'm uh, casting into the wind, which makes it a bit harder, but uh, yeah, there's not much I can do about that. But obviously the uh, fish follow the wind, all the nutrients and stuff come into my own bank. So I'm hoping that something will be around there. So what we're doing now is we're just tightening the line. There we go, it's pretty tight, that's cool. I'm going to put the, uh, the swinger on. Just like so, just make sure there's, there's a little bit of movement. It's going down now, but it's not too bad. Alarm on. Bait runner on. And let's get the maggot feeder. Right, so uh, we're all set up now. Um, it is a chilly wind, but uh, you know, it's, it's okay because it's coming towards me. So I'm hoping, against hope perhaps, that uh, it should be bringing a lot of food in my direction, a lot of particles and, and shrimps and all the natural life that's at the bottom of the lake that loves all the weed. Fingers crossed. Well, we've got my left hand rod with the PVA bag with three grains of sweet corn. You never know, we might even pick up the elusive carp that I've been haven't been able to uh, hook yet. But my target really is tension bream because there are some large fish in here. Like I say, you've got some really nice double figure bream and you've got some double figure tension here as well. Now, there is a new method that I am trying, it's the, uh, the maggot feeder. Um, a lot of people have been catching tench on the maggot feeder and um, I don't think they're really on the sweet corn yet so uh, that's what we're trying today, the maggot feeder with a uh, short hook link yeah so I'll uh, show you the rig a little bit later uh, fingers crossed just sit here relax and uh, see if anything picks up the bait yeah so you can see the uh, the wind is heading towards me. We've got the uh, the rods out. I'm using Fox Warrior rods, Shimano 8000 reels, 15 pound line because there are some really big tension carp in here. So really looks quite nice today. But uh, it was drizzling when I got here. We've got a little dry spell, but it is meant to get. Uh, bad later on but fingers crossed it won't be too bad i've got my brolly with me anyway oh i don't know if you can hear that on the camera but i've just uh, i've just heard a bitten and they live in all these reeds here so that was quite nice wasn't it now this is uh, now this is what you need some really fresh bait so this is all going to be going into uh, my maggot feeder Nice fresh maggots, 
look at those beauties. Hopefully the tension and the bream will get onto them and uh, we'll have some nice fish hopefully. Can't beat maggots. Well, I can see plenty of fish jumping just in front of me here. I've been in about 15 minutes and uh, we've got three big fish. I think I think there were carp playing around, so there's probably the possibility that uh, I might ever that I might actually uh, catch my first hawk carp today. But I would like attention to bream as well. Hopefully they'll uh, like three grains of sweet corn. As you can hear on the GoPro, you know, the wind's coming to me and it's quite windy, it's quite chilly, it's only about 8 degrees but I'm hoping that it'll bring all the food my way and uh, hopefully the fish will get their heads down and uh, start having a bit of grub, hopefully. Right, so that maggot feeder's been in there now about 20 minutes so we'll uh, we'll rebait up we'll just get that in see how much weed is there oh, there's not too much weed there's a little bit just there not too bad. Well this is the uh, the Guru maggot feeder that I'm using. As you can see you just top that up with a load of maggots, keep casting every 20 minutes and then hopefully you'll uh, you'll start to bring some fish in. Yeah so we just opened the maggot feeder, put some few maggots in there there we go and then uh, close it up and that's ready to go now right let's recast this one bit of a long cast this one that's lovely that's where I'd expect the uh, the bream and the tench to be lying. So I'll put that back on there. Tighten the line to the feeder. There we go. Put the arm on. Lovely. Oh, can you see there? Just past these reeds, we've got uh, we've got a rainbow there, which is uh, quite nice to see. But you can see all the dark clouds coming over. So I reckon in about an hour, we're going to get a whole load of rain, which is not going to be very pleasant. But uh, like I said, I've only got a four-hour session today, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll catch a fish. You never know, might even get a carp. There you go, you can uh, see the rainbow a lot better now. And uh, yeah, it's just starting to rain. Boy, isn't that lovely? And I've seen one or two fish again swirling just out there. So I'm hoping they'll go down for the bit and uh, we'll start catching a few. Well, we've uh, been in an hour and I've seen quite a lot of fish on the surface but uh, not too many fish on the bottom. Uh, we're just going to bring the maggot feeder in now and we're just going to uh, recast it, recast it every 20 minutes and uh, see if we can get a fish. But uh, it looks promising because there's plenty of fish moving about and if there's plenty of fish moving about they're bound to be hungry. So. Uh, Let's uh, put some more maggots in the maggot feeder, cast in again, and let's hope for the best. Right, 
let's see if there's any weed on this. Oh, there's a little bit of weed, not too much. If I can grab it, there we go. There's one or two, one or two people turning up now. Right, let's open the uh, maggot feeder. There we are. Put some more maggots in there, and hopefully they might produce a fish. Let that sink back on the rod. Just tighten the line. There we go. Put the swinger on. And the alarm. Yeah, the uh, feed is just finding its natural balance on the bottom. But we'll tighten it up a little bit more. There we go, bit run on. That's lovely. Right, so we're just making a PVA bag up now from the back of my car, which is quite handy on this lake. Put some sweet corn in there that's lovely it's a little bit fiddly but you try and get that to there there we go up to there like I say a little bit fiddly but we'll get there in the end that through there, and that through there, and then just clip this on in the PVA bag, just like that, there we go. Tighten the line. Nice and slowly, not to uh, move the bag out of position. There we go, clip on. Lovely. Well, you can see now that the uh, the weather's changing, the wind has increased, it's now started to drizzle. There's one or two other people here, but we've been here about three hours now, and we've not had a sniff of anything at the minute, so it's looking like a blank. I hope not, but uh, at the minute I've not had a sniff, nothing on the maggot feeder, nothing on the sweet corn and it is quite cold it, it, it feels two three degrees it really is very very cold and it's not giving me much confidence at all at the minute after seeing all those swirls this morning I've seen no else there's not even been a bleep on the rod so we'll have to wait and see 
Well, we've uh, been here for three hours now. The wind is getting up and it feels really, really cold. I've had to put the, uh, the brolly up. You can probably hear it on the GoPro. Uh, it's just started to uh, rain now as well. All that splashing that I'd seen this morning, I was hoping they'd go down onto the bait. Oh, there's a plane there. But nothing. Not even a live bite. So it doesn't give me much confidence whatsoever. But only time will tell. I'm hoping one of those will go off, but nothing on the uh, maggot feeder and uh, not a sniff on the sweet corn. Oh, he's going towards those reeds. Don't want him to go in those reeds. Ooh, we've got a nice hawk carp. Oh, it's a beauty. Oh, yeah, it's a good fish. Just as I was out to pack up as well. Oh, yeah, it's a big fat fish. Right, this is one fat hawk carp took a three grains of sweet corn on the hair and there's the hook pulled it out nicely look at that what an absolute beauty don't know what to say about this one don't know how big he's going to be he could be close to 17 18 pounds something like that but it's my first ever hawk carp so what about that then my first ever hawk carp 19 pound 6 ounces look at that 19 pound 6 ounces of hawk carp my first ever and I've been fishing here for about four to five years and this is my first ever carp that I've caught from this pond but I'm happy with that I'll take that three uh, three grains of sweet corn on the hair and uh, yeah what an absolute beauty that is I mean I can't believe how fat she is she's uh, really 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 fat been feeding well so I'm quite chuffed with that in this rain. Let's get her rested up. Right, a beautiful hawk carp being returned. Look at, the, look at the thickness of that fish. She's been resting in here for about 10 minutes now. Look at that. What a beauty. Can't believe how fat she is. Well, you're my first hawk carp, so thank you very much. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again. So what we're going to do is we're just going to nudge you. Just open the net. There we go. If she'll go. She's nearly there. There we go. We're nearly there. She's just...
And there she goes, right alongside them reeds. Right, so that's uh, it for me now. Um, I'm like a drowned rat, but I'm really pleased to have my first hawk carp at £19.6. What a absolute clonker, as John Wilson would say. I'm really chuffed a bit. I mean, I've been fishing here for about four years. I've had tench, I've had bream, but I've never had a carp, and today it's happened. And it was a beautiful fish in fantastic condition, and I'm just chuffed a bit. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it.